Hi, I'm Brian Francis from Billy Beck III Personal Training and Performance Center. Today I'm going to show you how to build rotator cuff strength. With me here to demonstrate is super trainer Lauren Huff. Now before you really challenge the rotator cuff muscles, a key point to remember is you don't want to do these movements heavy before a workout. You'll see a lot of people do these movements as a warm up before the workout, which is okay as long as the load or the weight you're, you're using is light. If you're going to really challenge those rotator cuff muscles and you're going to go heavier, always do it at the end of the workout. If you do it before and you fatigue those muscles and then you go try to lift things overhead, most likely you're going to injure yourself because those muscles are fatigued. So what we're going to show you is three rotator cuff movements. We're going to use the free motion machine or a cable. And the first movement Lauren's going to do is an inward rotation exercise for those rotator cuff muscles. So always keeping the elbow at 90 degrees, she's going to keep the elbow pinned to the side. She's going to rotate out and then rotate back in. Just go ahead and do a couple more reps, out and in. So the key point here is always keeping the elbow rotated in and always keeping the elbow at 90 degrees. So that's an inward rotation. The second movement she's going to do is an outward rotation. So, so switch to the left arm, grab the opposite pulley, still keeping that elbow pinned into the side. She's going to rotate out and then control the way back in. Again, the same key components apply to this movement as well. The elbow stays into the side and the elbow always remains at 90 degrees. You're just rotating on the shoulder. Now what we're going to do is an upward rotation movement. So Lauren's going to grab both handles. She's going to face into the pulley system and she's going to rotate up and then control the way back down. Again, elbows stay at 90 degrees and the elbows stay in line with the shoulders. Control the movement, rotate up and then rotate back down. So that's three rotational movements, all for the rotator cuff muscles. Do these at the end of the workout to really challenge yourself. We have inward rotation, outward rotation, and finally upward rotation. I'm Brian Francis, and this has been how to build your rotator cuff muscles.